Hey there guys, welcome. My name is Dom McStraw and welcome to the McStraw Method where we're going to do simply one thing. We're going to help you find what is the right dose for you. And in today's presentation, we're going to cover one thing. We're going to keep this presentation short, sharp, simple. We're not going to get bogged down in the science and the nitty gritty, but just something that both you and I as everyday mums and dads, partners, parents, peers, can understand what it means as part of us getting ourselves fitter, healthier, and stronger, and more importantly, finding out what that right dose is for us. So today's presentation, why the push on protein? So as we said here, simply an overview, why should we be protein forward? What does it mean? And is it just a thing for us getting bulky, getting strong, putting on muscle? But no, it also aids in fat loss. So let's just jump into the next slide. So some basics. What does it mean about protein in your diet? Why do so many people recommend being protein forward? And whether you eat meat or not, you're a vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, adequate protein in your diet still is an important thing. It's not a meat only thing. It is protein. It is a macronutrient that everyone needs regardless of your choice in your lifestyle and the way that you eat and it aids in both fat loss and muscular development so let's look at this some of the basic facts so protein as we all know it's a basic building block it your body uses it it uses it to pursue both fat loss and also muscular development protein has what we call a high thermic effect so what that basically means it requires more energy from your body to break down absorb and distribute the nutrients that you get from eating protein around your body and that's a good thing what this means that in digestion your body needs to work a little bit harder to burn more calories to break that down now that's good it means more work it means your body is working more and when that's happening it, over time you will find that your metabolism will slightly increase when you have a diet that is high in protein what else? Some basic facts. Eating adequate protein will help satiate your appetite, okay? Producing that feeling of being full. And one thing we talked about is protein being king. Now, try and think of this here, and this is why this works. Go into your fridge, take out a kilo of chicken breast, right? And it's typically it's two to three big full breasts, right, is a kilo. And try munching away and chewing on it. And after a while, you will feel like, I don't want to eat anymore. You're not going to be able to hold it down versus you go and grab a pizza. One slice starts with two, becomes three, and suddenly you've eaten more than a kilo worth of carbohydrates and bits and pieces. It's easy for you to digest. Calories, therefore, are king. Eating the protein is a harder thing to do, and you will typically stop. It's a little trigger up here that helps you do that. Protein, as we said, is not only a building block for just muscle, but also muscle repair. Because in the process of us trying to get stronger, trying to put on a bit of a little bit more lean muscle mass, we require protein to be in our diet. So that way, at the result of us breaking that down, tearing it down as a result of lifting stronger, heavy weights, we need the protein in our body to help repair, restore, and grow. And it also aids for those athletes that are choosing performance goals. Whilst they might be the top in the group that typically eat higher in carbohydrates because it's a quick source of fuel, protein is a necessary source of fuel for the high performance athlete also too. Fat loss, muscle development. Well, again, this is during the strength work or resistance training, we break down that muscle tissue, okay? And the produce of what we call an adaptive response. Now that might mean, as I said, a sprinter wants to get faster. A weightlifter wants to be stronger. A endurance athlete wants to develop muscular strength to have more muscular stamina in their body. And protein is what we need to aid in that building and repair of that process. Even when chasing fat loss, again, completely different to weight loss. People get that mixed up. The aim should be for you to add more lean muscle mass onto your body as compared to the nonsense of I'm getting bulky. Case in point, the mum that goes, does the shopping, 
walks around, holds the kid, the 20 to 30 kilo little kid, sticks it on the shoulder, but then goes into the gym and doesn't want to pick nothing bigger than the dinky two kilo dumbbells because she's getting bulky. But yet she's been slinging around 20, 30, 40 kilos on her side of her hip or carrying the groceries in at the car or lifting the vacuum cleaner or doing whatever every single damn day. Lean muscle tissue. When we have more of that on our body, it requires our metabolism to work faster. It means it's got to work harder and hence that will aid in the fat loss process. Okay, because it will go towards that and look at storing the stored fuels. So why does that make a difference? Well, because when we eat protein, protein helps us release what we simply call is glucagon. So I've just noticed a spelling mistake. Glucagon, it's your energy hormone. It looks to release the stored energy in your body for your body to go about fueling the process. Now, as we said, we want that, that aids towards a more favorable body composition. The flip side of that, when we don't have the protein in there and we're not stimulating glucagon to be released and we do the opposite effect and we release insulin, that's our body storage hormone, which you're going to find typically for people who are not eating enough protein, they're releasing insulin, and therefore we're looking for our body to therefore start to store. It's basic. It's not rocket science. It's just something that you and I can take in our day to understand why we should look to have more protein or adequate protein or what you and I are trying to do today, find the right dose of protein to be in your diet to help you move yourself forward now if you like what we've said here today if you like the stuff that we're seeing what we're doing what we're sharing and you want to know a bit more there's perhaps maybe three ways that we can help you today number one go over to the website you can see the link there below called get the protocol where i'm going to start publishing three or four videos that you can start in terms of your training process it might be something to do with your food it might be something to do with the working out and it might be something to do with this thing up here between the left and the right ear to help you shift your mindset to move you forward and get off the couch number two i have a free group that we simply call the long game and we are going to create a new group that we call the right dose we're going to start to put all these videos in so if you miss this one you don't know where to find it you can go into the group they'll be sitting in as part of the guides and they'll be listed for you to go any comments, any questions that you've got, please write them in and we will get back to you as soon as we see them as far as answering them based upon what we simply know. And three, if you already got some results and you want to chase, you want to go to the next level and you think that what we're doing is helpful and you think that you and I might be a great fit, then I want you to simply go to the website there. You can book a call. We'll jump on 10 to 15 minutes work out whether I am the right type of trainer, right type of coach, whether you and I are the right type of fit, and whether or not you can be part of the program moving forward. Apart from that, please like, please subscribe, please tell a friend. My name is Don McStraw. This is the McStraw Method, and we just covered on why we should be protein forward as part of us chasing the right dose.